It's hard for me, but I have to. So, Simon Magalhães, with the speech, don't, don't be deceased by appearance. Sara. Fellow Toastmasters, I'm going to tell you a story. A story about my carnival last year. You couldn't imagine what happened. You know, Mickey called me to go on a date with him. You know what? Me and Mickey. We are on to each other. So I said, okay, let's <laughs> go to party. Let's go to the carnival. <coughs> then, when I was at home preparing for the date, I was trying costumes. You know, uh, we mice like to try a lot of the people clothes. So I was like, will, will I be an old lady this year? A young lady? A nun? I don't know how to dress. And so Mickey showed up and told me, no, don't dress. We are not going to have costumes this year. We are going as ourselves, like Mickey and me, because I have other plans. And I told him, what are you saying? We are going to meet Paquette and on all of our friends. They are all dressed up in their part in Carnival. No, we are going to do something different. We, I have other ideas. Uh, we are going to a house where I heard there is the biggest cheese on town. And we are going to eat cheese all night. And I said, are you sure? Yeah, I know. And no, none is in that house this night, so we are going there. So we get out of the house, we start to sing all those mice playing around, but Mickey was like, I'm smarter than they. You're going to see, you know, he has this thing about being the lead, the lead character of all stories, so he thought, I'm better than other mice, is he going to see that kind of stuff. So we pass by all the parties, all the bars, all the pubs, and soon, we left town and we saw this hill with a big house upon the hill and Mickey told it's there and he was so happy to see the house that it starts running and go in the house and I was alone like okay this is it but there's little light over here I don't know but he had already disappeared into the house so I decided to go after him to go see what was happening there so I started entering the house and uh, what happened next is the first thing I realized when I entered, my steps made noise on the floor, lots of noise. Then I looked to the walls, and there were spiders everywhere. So one thing was for sure, the, the house was very dirty. Then I looked near the, the walls, and I saw these things like red, red stripes on the walls, blood. Now, that was very strange. It's better I go into Mickey, go, go with him to the kitchen. So I saw the stairs to the basement. I thought maybe in the basement there's where the cheese is in the kitchen. So I'm going down the stairs. I start going down the stairs and I felt some voices like, don't go that way. Go away, go away. All the people <coughs> in the walls, in the stairs, they looked scary. I looked at them, they were very scary every time I go down the stairs. So I thought, is this too late? What am I doing? Is everything okay? When I was almost down there, I started hearing screaming, like a girl, saying, no, please, no, don't kill me, don't kill me, not me, not me. A little mouse, like me, for sure, tell me, don't kill me. I was really, oh my God, what are they doing to her? And then I saw some shadows running through with something in their hands that seemed like axes. And they all run toward those sounds of the girl. I thought, my God, what's going on? What is going to happen? Then I heard what it seems to me, a hundred elephants passing. So much noise. And then something cutting and a sound. And someone said, it's her head. We made it, we made it. I thought, my God, where am I? I'm going to die. So I tried to go upstairs, but the door was closed. I couldn't leave it. I just went down there again, down the stairs again, and I looked for the curtain, and I put myself behind the curtain. But guess what? I looked down and my shoes, they could see my shoes. So I knew I was go going to get caught. And I realized there was someone coming up to me. And I stayed very quiet, so frightened that I put my head between my knees when I heard this voice. What are you doing here? And I couldn't open my eyes at the street. 
please go away, go away. I said, what are you doing here? Open your eyes. And I was like, don't kill me, don't kill me. Please, leave. I'm a little mouse just here in this house. But the voice continued and I opened my eyes. In front of me, there was a big mouse, a big mad mouse with some tools in his hands, with dirty clothes, and he kept saying, you're going to pay for this. And I was like, anything, but don't kill me, please. What are you doing? And he says, you're going to pay for this because this is an expensive show in the ghost house in the carnival. So everyone pays the ticket and you make it for yourself to enter here when this is all closed. I don't know how you made it. I'm here fixing the characters, fixing all the stuff, but it's your privilege. So you have to pay your ticket. So I did pay my ticket. So the show was not so awful after all. It was funny if I see it now. And I went home. And I didn't saw Mickey no more. The next day, Mickey showed up with his face in a mess. He had lost two teeth. And he has a toothbrush, very bad toothbrush. So we had to go to the dentist because you know what? He had tried to eat in the teeth. And the teeth was big, but it was plastic. It was <laughs> a monster teeth. The worst monster of all for the mice. A monster teeth is the monster who eats cheese mice at night. It's a story that we tell ourselves. So, you know what I've learned from this story? Don't let yourself be judged by appearances. Don't rush yourself into judgment because the, you can um, miss the opportunity to just enjoy the ride. Thank you.